Today we're building a mini Pac-Man clone in Python with Pygame, and we're doing it under 100 lines. One maze, pellets, one angry ghost, and a clean win-lose loop. First you need to install Pygame if you haven't yet. We start with the usual suspects, Pygame, size, and random. Pygame.init boots all the Pygame modules we need, like display and fonts. This is the key design choice. The entire level is ASCII text. T is our tile size in pixels. So every maze character becomes a 24 by 24 block on screen. In the map, hash means wall, dot means pellet, empty space is walkable. This is basically a level editor built into your code. It's readable, easy to tweak, and it keeps the logic tiny. Now we compute the screen width and height from the map size. Map width is length of M0 tiles. Map height is length of M tiles. Multiply both by tile size. Set mode WH creates the window. Clock is our FPS limiter and font is just to print win, lose text. Now the clean part, we convert the map into two sets. Wall holds coordinates where there is a hash. PL0 holds coordinates where there is a dot. Why sets? Because collision checks become instant. This dick maps arrow keys to direction vectors. Left is minus one, zero, right is one, zero, up is zero, minus one, down is zero, one. So every movement is one tile at a time. Very old school, very Pac-Man. Reset rebuilds the whole game state. Pac-Man starts near the top left, Ghost starts near the bottom right, Pellets are a fresh copy of the original Pellet set. This is how you keep the code clean. One function restores everything. This is the movement engine in a few lines. We calculate the next tile. If it's a wall, we don't move. If it's not a wall, we return the new position. That's it. No physics, no floats, no friction. Tile games are basically cheating. And I mean that as a compliment. Subscribe for part two, give a like, and leave a comment.